Better Preaching Through Improvisation, take seven. In three, two, one. Hi, Mike Weeby here, creator of Better Preaching Through Improvisation. And I'm so glad that you're here, that you care about your preaching, that you don't want your sermons to be ignored. And neither do I. I don't want my sermons to be ignored. In the midst of this culture where there's so many voices competing for our attention, we need preachers. We need preaching that reaches people, that grabs attention, that is driving people deeper into relationship with Jesus Christ. In this video, I'm going to give you one exercise that will help you do this just that. It will help you go deeper in your sermon. But first and foremost, it will help spark some creativity for your sermon. All you need to do is have a timer and two pieces of white paper. So here's what you do. Take your phone or wherever you uh, want to do to set a timer and set your timer for five minutes. Take one of those sheets of paper and simply start brainstorming ideas, thoughts, insights you have on the text of what, that you're preaching on. Just simply get everything out on that piece of paper. Don't edit. Don't edit at all. Just write, 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 write for five minutes. After that five minutes is up, reset the timer for five minutes. Take the next piece of paper and just pause for a second. Start the timer, but give yourself a moment. Sit back in a chair and think. Think what's deeper that needs to be shared. Is there a deeper theme? Is there something deeper from within the text that you need that you need to share? Is there something deeper than what was already written on that other sheet of paper that you just brainstormed? What is deeper? Don't rush through this. Give yourself a moment to think, to rest, to pause, to allow your brain to go deeper. And after an appropriate period of time, simply start writing what's deeper on that piece of paper, that other second white piece of paper. After that five minutes is up, take a moment and look at those two pieces of paper objectively. It's as if you're getting a 20,000 foot view of these two pieces of paper. And just notice, what do you see? What are there, are there themes that have emerged? Are there connections that have emerged between the first paper and the second paper? And note those connections, note those deeper themes, and then start writing your sermon from those deeper themes that have emerged between the first and second pages. You do that, your, your sermon will have creativity and depth beyond what you can imagine right at this very moment. Thanks for watching. Thanks for caring about your preaching. Until I see you next time, make your sermons hard to ignore. Bye-bye.